What's up, soldiers? Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure having you guys here in the kitchen with me. Just look at the colors. It is time. Yes, it is. Another meat free Monday. Today we're doing a tomato watermelon salad. And the tomato that you're seeing there, you see all the wrinkles and different colors and all that? Those are heirloom tomatoes. Now, as far as ingredients are concerned, we've got feta cheese there. I've got a little bit of honey, that's an organic honey. Got some mint, and that is sort of herbage we're going to be using today. Some balsamic vinegar. We'll need some olive oil if you prefer using red wine vinegar, champagne vinegar, even if you just want to use the juice of one lemon, you can rock that. We have an assortment of heirloom tomatoes, sea salt, and watermelon. We'll need some olive oil to pull it all together. If you wanted to add a little bit of garlic in there, you can certainly do that. A bit of parsley in there, you can certainly do that. But for the most part, these are the ingredients here. You know, we're just coming off the winter, so I'm sure these these heirloom tomatoes have been imported. But if you garden like I do, and you have the ability to plant heirloom tomatoes, I strongly recommend you jump on that heirloom bandwagon because, man, the flavor, the sweetness, everything else. All I'm doing is removing the stem area and the bit of woody core enter, uh, center there. And for this, I like I like doing different textures. And when I when I do it, we're gonna go with triangles, like little slices there. And for some of them, I'm gonna slice up. Some of them, I'm, and nice big chunky pieces. If you're watching, there now something like this, because really pretty. We're gonna do the slicing, and I have a nice sharp knife here. I know you guys watching the knife and thinking, "Ooh, Chris." It's overkill, boy. It's a big knife. But look how the baby is just run through that tomatoes. Just look at that. It's it's like <laughs> it's like I'm in a commercial. Look at that. So we got them nice tomatoes here. I'm gonna continue prepping these and then we're gonna assemble everything. The watermelon, as you see, as you would have seen, it's already been prepped. These are just seedless. Well, they got some white seeds there. I know what they're doing there. False advertising 14 O's. Anyhow, seedless watermelon if you have the ones with the seeds so be it cubed up maybe one inch cubes it's gonna set that aside and as far as the feta goes crumbled up a bit nice big chunks of that so I've got the tomatoes all cut up into different sort of slices and wedges and everything else I've got that cube watermelon which I just washed off the mint leaves and all we're gonna do now is make a dressing and you need a nice big bowl and we're gonna just go in there, be gentle, and toss everything. But before we do that, I want to go in with the salt, especially where the tomatoes are concerned. Now if you wanted to put, and you know I made that scotch bonnet pepper flakes, if you want to put pepper flakes in here, just for a bit of a bite, you can certainly do that as well. Now if you wanted, what you could do at this point here is, <clears throat> make the dressing serve this as it is or push these back just to make it look more brilliant going with the feta along here and serve it like that so people can choose what they want i'm going to toss it but what i'm saying is notice how pretty it looks there so if a person wants just tomatoes they can take just tomatoes watermelon uh the feta the uh the mint let's make the dressing and the dressing is pretty simple i've got olive oil i like adding a little bit of black pepper in here as well the balsamic and to pull everything together that honey that i showed you guys earlier there and all you would do just give that a good whisk. If you wanted to add some garlic in here, it would be brilliant as well. Now in the salad, if you wanted that red onion, if you wanted to add cucumber, all those things would work brilliantly with this, yeah? So give that a good mix, and then we're gonna pour it all over that salad. This is where you want to be really gentle. Just pull everything together. As a matter of fact, you may need a bigger bowl, yes, friends. But anyhow, we're gonna give this a good mix. And then we're gonna pour that dressing all over it. I 
I went ahead and I topped it up with a bit more of that feta cheese. I had quite a bit of feta cheese. You can't go wrong with cheese. Caribbean people love cheese. Now here's the thing. While this is not a Caribbean salad, it's more Mediterranean and everything. All the ingredients you found here can be found in the Caribbean, especially the watermelon. I want to focus on that watermelon. If you've ever had watermelon in the Caribbean, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Just before you serve it, you will hit that dressing this a little mix again on to that salad Chris here caribbeanpod.com meat free monday you're gonna love this one man do give it a try yeah remember to hit subscribe click and leave a comment down below if you like this kind of recipe and remember to head over to caribbeanpod.com where you have access to over who we maybe 11 1200 caribbean inspired and caribbean traditional caribbean recipes Irie? Irie.